Hey guys, this is how to play uh, the riff of Paperback Writer by The Beatles. Electric guitar, kind of classic rock riff in a nice cool pop song. Um, this riff is based on uh, a G-shaped power chord, um, but we're also going to cover how to do this with a capo to make it slightly easier because combining power chords and single notes can be tricky for some people. So for anyone that's not at that level yet, we'll also cover a slightly easier way to do it as well. But the proper way, and the way if you can do it, which would be preferable, um, is with this G-shaped power chord. So your first finger is at your third fret, which should be the first dot on your guitar. It isn't for some guitars, but most guitars have a dot on that third fret. And from there, you have your third finger, two frets along, and one string down, so this would be on the A string, and that alone can be classed as a power chord, just your first finger and your third finger in the places where I've showed you. So first finger, third fret, third finger on the next dot at fifth fret. Um, I prefer my students to play a power chord which would have your little finger directly underneath your third finger as well, because it tends to keep that little finger under control. It makes your power chord sound a little bit brighter as well because this is the, the higher, if this is the G power chord, we got the low G and the high G, so it tends to sound a little nicer. Um, but also this is the way that, that, it, that this riff is played. So this is the way I'd like you to do it. Sounds like this. Um, not too much overdrive on the guitar. I've got an old Fender amp here and out of 10, it's um, on 4. So, you know, 4 out of 10 on the overdrive. Kind of turn it up loud and see if you can rock out to it, I guess, on the, on the sound-wise. Um, nothing clever done on the EQ at all. Everything's straight to midnight. Um, okay, no. So we're going to basically bar with your first finger this entire time. And this is why we may look at how to do it with a capo uh, a little later if you like. Um, but we're going to try and do it with your first finger doing all the work on this one to start off with. First of all, we've got to pick the thickest E string and then the A string. And we're going to do the next note with a hammer on. So if you've not come across a hammer on before, we've got pick, pick, first finger, third fret, third fret on the fifth string. And then we hammer on with your third finger on the same string. So we've picked the third fret, hammered on at the fifth fret, and this enables you to play this riff kind of faster. It plays the same amount of notes, but more up to the speed of the record. So if you want to know how a lot of these guys or these riffs get played a lot faster, this hammer on and the other one is flick offs technique um, is, is how they do it. So pick, pick, hammer on. And then we pick your little finger on the octave. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and after that, we're gonna hit um, the third finger on your A string and then pick your first finger um, at uh, third fret on the D string. Um, we kind of assign fingers to a fret when we use this um, kind of rock guitar method with, with your riff. So your first finger is always going to play any note at the third fret. And it's going to be your third finger and little finger that will always play any notes that happen at the fifth fret. Okay, no matter what string they're on, we kind of assign this here. And your middle finger's in the gap where nothing's going to be played for this riff. So it's kind of pentatonic shape that we'll be using. One, two, three, four. And then finally, the last two notes there. Just taking us over into the second half of the riff. Repeat that a couple of times just on your own. Your first finger should, to play that last note that we've, that we've learnt so far, your first finger's moved from where it was at the thickest string and it's come down. Or you can bar kind of all the strings together, but you will get this chord sound if you do that. So I'd kind of recommend that you slide your finger down 
to this note. And then for the, the last few notes, we've got uh, four notes. And we've got one more hammer on, the exact same move that we did for the first half of the riff. And if you just listen to that as a whole, hopefully we'll get it, I'll slow it down quite a bit. Slow down even further. Um, now that I'm kind of warmed up with my hands, I'm um, using this the kind of rolling technique with my third finger to be able to play the first, um, the third and fourth notes of this riff. So you've got that option, or you can use your little finger. Either is absolutely fine. Um, so just from the top of that riff again. Um, common problems with that are going to be this hammer on. If it's a new technique for you, um, we can just pick your uh, first finger at any fret to be honest and then two frets um, to your side of it. So th I'm going for frets three and five that we use in this song. Pick your first finger, hammer on your third finger, pick, hammer and just loop that to try and get your hammer on sounding exactly the same as if you'd pick that note. Pick, hammer, pick, hammer, pick, hammer. Even without a massive amount of overdrive, it's hardly kind of a metal type overdrive, it's kind of classic rock. Even if I clean this off quite a lot, I'm getting a good solid hammer on there which makes this um, a lot easier. And also the moving round with your first finger, as I say, you can bar and just keep your first finger clamped down like a capo. Um, but I'd kind of recommend that you move it, which will relax your hand slightly more, allow you to play it faster, and your first finger slides. And does lift off. See if I can play it like that, just about. And then you got a G chord for the rest of the song. So as I say, if you're using kind of this clamping method with your first finger, it can be, hang on, where's my capo go? It can be good to just bang a capo on and to try and get the riff and the feel of it and everything. Um, give it a go like this, where we'll just basically be training your first finger, which is how a lot of classic rock riffs go. Um, so... <laughs> Um, and it sounds exactly the same and it can be really useful. So that capo is now at the third fret and we got this all the same notes but we're kind of treating this as the open string. So open E, open A, second fret, hammer on still with your first finger. So if you struggle doing hammer ons with your third finger it can be a lot easier to do them with your first. One, two, hammer on, flatten off your first finger to play the octave. And then we play the second fret now at uh, on the fifth string. Play the open D underneath it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Then for the last few notes, open A, open A again, hammer on, and then open D. And if, if you try it with a capo on and it really helps you, there's nothing wrong with doing that method for now, but it would be really great if you were able to do it with a G power chord. And it sounds really cool and really rocking. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed that and you liked my videos. Check out some of the other ones and um, I'm sure I'll see you again.